When I'm not acting and being in plays and musicals, um, I perform for children. Children get me. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> it could be uh, that I'm a six foot six man who can do with this with his eyebrows. <laughs> or, or this with his eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, I thought everybody could do that. And one day I was really close to my wife and I said, Hey, honey, look. <laughs> and she went, Oh my God. Don't do that again. <laughs> and look at my ears. What's the ears? <laughs> I know, I'm a goat, for heaven's sakes. And um, uh, the thing is that it's fun, you know, you sit in front of a, you know, 500 children and you have a stool and you, the kids are just daring you, right? They're daring you. What is this enormous man going to do? Yeah, go ahead. Entertain us. <laughs> and, and so you do. And, and, but they're tricks. There are tricks to doing it, and the tricks are that you get them involved right away. Um, participation is the best way to do it. You know, bring a kid up on stage, and all the other kids love when kids in their school are making fools of themselves. It's fantastic. <laughs> but there's something that even works even better than that, and that is getting uh, teachers to come up on stage with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's fantastic. You cannot lose. You cannot lose. And it's just like being in school. Remember when you're in school and the teacher said, uh, what class, what is 38 divided by 2 minus 4? And you know, every kid in the room. <laughs> Teachers do the exact same thing. Like that, when you say you want to get somebody out of the audience. Um, it's a win-win situation because the kids, if they love the teacher, they're like, oh, it's our teacher. We love, yay, look at him, he's being silly. Or they hate the teacher. And they're like, yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a great thing. Uh, I was in a school, actually close to here. Uh, it was a parochial school, oh, probably 12 or 15 years ago. And uh, I was performing for this school, a show I do called Goaltending. And what it is, it's about a little boy who wants to get noticed. That's all, he just wants to get noticed and he, he follows three easy steps to get noticed. And so during the show, um, I bring a teacher on stage to be part of a vaudeville act. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I get the teacher to come on stage and play Ploppy the Mildly Interesting Train Bear. <laughs> it's awesome! You bring the kid, the guy up, you know, and the kids just are so excited. I mean, their teacher's acting like a bear, and I, I, make the, I make the teacher beg, and I make the teacher play dead. He falls on the ground, and I, I make the teacher roll around. It's just great. The kids love it and had a grand for time. So I was in this parochial school, and I was looking for a teacher. And what you do is that you've got to carefully, as you're telling the story, look out at the audience. You know, you, you go to the audience and you're, you're talking and you're laughing and you look over at a person and if a person is looking like this gentleman right here who looks like this. <laughs> don't pick that teacher. <laughs> don't, it's, uh, you're fine, you're really fine. I don't like him. So, um, <laughs> but if the teacher's laughing, if the teacher's getting all your silly jokes and oh hi guys, you pick that teacher. And so I was at this parochial school and I'm halfway through the show and, and I noticed there's a teacher in the back and he's got wire room glasses and he's got hair like Elton John. Elton John hair. I don't know what that means actually, but he had Elton John hair and uh, he uh, looked happy. And so I decided, yes, he will be Ploppy the Mildly Interesting Train Bear. <laughs> so the time came and I said, I need a teacher. And most of the teachers went, <laughs> but this one teacher was like, <laughs> and so I decided to choose him. And so I went out of the audience and I grabbed him by the arm and I said, you're going to be plucking the bear. And the kids were just like, oh my God, yes. Yes, they were so excited. And so, maybe not that excited, but they were pretty excited. And so I brought him on stage and I had him do the things. And at first, he wasn't quite getting it, right? He seemed like he was having trouble understanding what I exactly wanted. And so I kind of acted it out. You know, and he did it after me, and by the end, he fantastic. And the kids laughed, and he went back to his seat, and he was really happy, and uh, things were great. After I was done, uh, the principal of the school, who was um, how do I describe her? She was very prim. She was she was dressed to the I mean, she looked good. Everything looked like it should look, uh, and she was very attractive. But she was a bit oh, how do I say it? She was pinched. <laughs> Just, you know, really kind of severe, you know, we're pretty, but like, one of those. And so she said, um, Mr. Hartman, would you please come to my office now? I, I would like to speak to you about something. <laughs> okay. And 
so uh, after the show, I went to the office and I sat down and she said, yes, um, she sat down behind her desk and she looked at me, she folded her arms in her pinched little face. <laughs> she said, uh, you will never be asked to come to this school again. <laughs> and I went, oh, oh, okay. I'm the kind of guy who, uh, who always thinks everything is his fault. <laughs> you know, anything happened, it's my fault, right? Okay, so my first reaction is, oh no. What did I do? I can't, what, did I, what did I do? I don't remember doing anything. Did I do something bad? You. So um, I, I, I didn't know what to say. Oh, 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 I was doing that, oh, 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 like that. And she said, um, well, can I tell you that the teacher you picked to be Plotty the mildly interesting bear <laughs> was blind. <gasps> I said blind? She said blind. Visually challenged, blind. <laughs> and then her full pinch is on, right? It's like, total pinch out, right? And I don't have anything to say, I don't want to do, oh, I, I picked, I'm a bad man. I picked blind man, I'm sorry. I'm bad! And she says, you know, I'll be calling, I will be calling your booking agent at the Children's Museum, blind, get out. <laughs> And I, you know, I got home that day and I called my booking agent and I said, I, I, I'm sorry, I picked a blind guy. I'm really sorry I picked a blind guy. It was terrible. I'm a bad, bad, bad man. And she called. She called and they still, no talking. She could feel the pinch through the phone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you just, sometimes you just got to roll with stuff like that, right? And two months later, I get a package in the mail. And often happens when, you know, I'll perform at a school and the kids will have a great time and the teachers will ask them to write me thank you notes. And these are really fun to read, you know, because they draw pictures of me, the kids draw pictures of me and I'm like, that big? And they're like this big, the page is really awesome. And, uh, you know, I like when you made your eyes wiggle, that was good. And, uh, oh, you're funny, you're a freak. And um, <laughs> they're really fun little notes. And I, so I, you know, I open up this package and I'm reading through and I can't figure out, you know, it's like, where's this from? And I pick up the envelope again and I look at the return address and it's the school, the parochial school, with Miss Pinch. <laughs> I'm like, wow, huh, it's amazing. So I'm going through all the notes and I get to the very bottom and there's a handwritten note in cursive and uh, <laughs> and it's from the blind teacher and it says um, Mr. Hartman as a teacher who's blind um, I'm not even treated like everybody else I get treated special and he said and for the first time in 20 years of teaching I was treated just like everybody else and I just wanted to thank you. <laughs>